world. <laughs> All right, thanks to our virtual view technology, I'm standing in Milwaukee where the clouds, a few clouds out here, but they are going to gradually change over to some snow. That's going to be tomorrow, uh, late early into your Friday. So if you're leaving the Bucks game on Thursday night, you possibly could see some snow falling, but make sure you are prepared as we go into your Friday because, yeah, that's we'll start to see more of that snow. And in terms of Milwaukee, we have a deficit of about 21 inches on the season. So let's talk about what's going on. More snow. I don't know if that makes you happy if you're like, okay, it's spring now and we need to do something about this. But you know, when you're in Milwaukee, spring means that you could have some big snowstorms out there as well. So this is that forecast for you as we go in through the rest of today. Again, a mix of sun and clouds happening as we go in through Thursday night. There is that snow that will be late Friday. There is the snow and then by your Friday night looks like we'll start to clear things out. So it's kind of a quick hitter that will be in. It will be out and we see plenty of purple here. Look at that swath. Milwaukee, you are in on that. Madison, you're coming in on that as well. And we can see up to about five to eight inches before it's all said and done in that swath. So we'll see how that turns out, how that pans out. But we will have that colder air up to the north. That's something that we've been missing a lot across the Midwest uh, this season. In terms of the Arctic air, yes, it is in place. And we can see those numbers for your morning lows will be in the teens and the 20s in a lot of spots. Check out these systems here. So we do have an area of high pressure to the north. We do have that area of low pressure and the difference between the two. That's where we're going to be dealing with some very breezy conditions. So the winds are going to be gusty as we move through time here. So there's that area of low pressure continues to work its way on off towards the south and east. And as it does that, it's going to lay down some of that snow. Once again, we talked about that swath of about five to eight, but we can see around Bismarck, Fargo, possibly about three to five inches before it's all said and done. Winter is going to continue to hang on and we will track this out for you. So the timing as we head towards your Thursday, not a whole lot. We'll really start to get again rocking and rolling as we head towards Thursday evening. Fargo, look at that dark teal color. Yes, Minneapolis, you'll start to see uh, some heavier snows coming in across that area that continues to move in through Friday morning around Green Bay, Chicago. You'll be right on the line, so we'll see how that goes for you. But then south of that, yeah, just plain old rain around Cedar Rapids. Again, in and out by o'clock by nine o'clock on your Friday, 10 o'clock will be on the drier side of things. And this is that forecast for Chicago for today. Looking good Thursday night. We could see maybe rain snow. We talked about that and then Friday, possibly some rain snow as well. So we'll watch out for that. We look at what happens off to the north and east, and this is your Euro model. Look at this very heavy around Portland, Maine. So further on off towards New England, uh, the north and east, you'll see this and pretty much in agreement with the GFS as well. The heaviest stuff, the heaviest snow will be further off to the north and east and of course around the mountains. Jordan. All right above average here yeah. already seeing six seven inches of uh, rain in the south in some places just since March 1st. Here is a look at the rain in New York because this whole system will be impacting us as it kind of rides up the coast. We could see some rain here again another spot that doesn't really need it. The euro having a little more rain than the GFS but they're a pretty similar here for us. So let's look at tomorrow. There's our system in the Gulf that is going to be making its way eastbound. And then you see these two winds along the East Coast are going to be uh, problematic for us here, along with the threat for flooding of that onshore push. You have the rain coming down. So there is that possibility uh, greatest there in New Jersey. And these are the numbers I was talking about since March 1st. You're talking about four to six inches of rain saturated grounds for us here into New England watch as this whole system evolves with the energy coming on the north side of this and the energy coming from the south side of this and you can see this low pressure really kind of developing that onshore push going to be kind of gnarly there along the I-95 corridor it is going to be clearing out though uh, fairly quickly the GFS you can see both the storms kind of combining so Saturday is just an utter mess for us here uh, then that blows out we see improving conditions for our Sunday into our Monday but then we have our next system that's going to come into play. How about the winds? Since I was mentioning that, notice that they're going to be pretty strong 30 40 even 50 mile an hour gusts. This is going to make for slower travel. This will make for bumpy travel here along the I-95 corridor and the winds always take a little extra time to kind of taper off there, uh, Lynette for us. And that, of course, will kick up the waves. So careful to all those spring breakers headed to the beach. All right, Stephanie.
Uh, Not dancing like that, but I've seen them kind of glow in the sky. Wow, that's awesome. All right, let's talk about what's going to be going on as we go through the rest of today. The airports right now not looking too bad, but we will start to see again some changes out there for sure because we have some weather more to the north and the east. But I would suggest that you call ahead as you move forward because this is what we're going to be working with. So we can see some delays around Syracuse, also around Boston as we go throughout the day. Cleveland, again, this is where we're going to start to see uh, some snow out there. Miami, Dallas looking pretty good as we go throughout the day as well. So just uh, uh, be aware of that, and this is what we're going to be working with in terms of the snowfall coming in across the area. Yeah, you can see it already. So we're dealing with that lake effect snow. We'll continue as we work our way through the morning hours. That's going to be the name of the game. Very cold temperatures out there for today as well. Uh, there's a lake effect snow. We have that accumulation. It is going to be likely, and of course, we're going to be dealing with some slick roads. So just uh, be aware of that, and just know that even if we don't get a whole lot of accumulation, slick roads are still out there, and that's when you see most of your accidents. So you definitely want to take it slowly if you are going to be out and about. Not only are we going to be dealing with the lake effect snow, but we're also going to be dealing with some very windy conditions as well. So we need both hands on the steering wheel as you step out and about and you start driving. Make sure uh, that you just give yourself enough time because most likely delays will be possible as we go throughout the day. We look at the turbulence reports. Not so bad this morning, but as the day goes on, yes, we start to see more of those purples coming in and those pinks. So yeah, uh, not going to be the best time to fly if you are a queasy flyer. Jordan. All right. So as we...